All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. Oh, Shakespeare, gentlemen in tights and ladies in corsets. If that's what you expect at Carousel Theater's production of As You Like It, then you better think twice. <laughs> This certainly isn't your average bard. Bongo drums and slam poetry, trumpets and saxophones. This very youthful production of As You Like It is actually made up of 19 teen actors from all over the Lower Mainland. After the audition process, they go through about a month of rehearsals, and then they're ready to bring their energy and enthusiasm to the performance workstage on Granville Island. Oh, okay, we've got uh, we've got Rosalind's leather jacket here uh, because the show we're setting it in the fifties. So uh, the first court is going to be very fifties nostalgic. So we've got poodle skirts, uh, which we've got here. We've got our, our Mexican wrestler mask for, <laughs> for Charles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that sequence. Once they run away to the woods, the magical forest of Arden, where the characters sort of start to find themselves. They're, the play's about young people coming to terms with who they are through, through love. It's, it's, it's really quite beautiful. And we've taken that and sort of turned it into sort of a beatnik Greenwich Village. That was Jack Patterson, this year's head instructor and former participant of the almost 20-year-old Teen Shakespeare program. Every year, one of the Bard's plays is brought to life in a new setting. And it's certainly appropriate that this year's play is about young adults growing up and discovering who they are. I'm Sarah Dobson. Uh, this is my first year with Carousel's Teen Shakespeare program, and I'm playing Rosalind. I'm Patrick Mercado. This is also my first year at Carousel, and uh, I'm playing Orlando. I'm Lolly. I've been with Carousel for two years, and I'm playing Phoebe. Theater is very different from film or, or television, for example. What is it about theater that interests you guys? Well, personally, I love it all. But um, something I love about the theater is that you can be um, overdramatic sometimes. Um, and, you know, when you're performing in front of a live audience and, you know, the audience cheers for you, and you can't hear that. If you were doing something on film, you can't hear families in their homes watching you on TV laughing. But with theater, it's so much more vibrant and exciting. Theater acting is live, which means mistakes happen. It's always on your feet. There's really no second chances. The first role I remember playing was the lead tree in grade six. <laughs> I don't remember what the play was called, but from grade seven, I played a role with actual lines, and I fell in love with the theater. I was like these kids. I got, um, my folks signed me up. I came in. I knew very little to nothing about the theater, and, uh, I did my first show. I played Snout in A Midsummer Night's Dream. I loved it. Next year I was Puck. The following year I played Jake and As You Like It. And uh, that sort of led to me going on to theater school to, and then on to a professional career as an actor and a director. And it really all sort of came out of this program. And um, how do you feel now coming full circle and being here? I love it. I love it. It's, um, one, it's a great group of kids, young adults, responsible young adults. It's a lot of fun in the hall. They bring a lot of great ideas. The, the highlights of my, of my year are coming, actually coming back from professional work to do this program. Uh, when did you first decide that you wanted to act? I'm a Christian, so I go to church um, every Sunday, and every uh, Christmas the kids will do some sort of Christmas presentation, kids' drama. And so I don't know how old I was, but I was quite young, and I got cast as one of the leads, and I just I fell in love with it. And ever since then, I've just jumped at every opportunity I've had. <laughs> That's a really hard question. My parents have said that I've always been dramatic. <laughs> so I started acting in fifth grade. Some might say that Shakespeare is 
fairly challenging material, especially to memorize. Uh, how do you guys feel about reading and performing from Shakespeare? Oh, it's challenging. But, you know, it's a good thing to have to challenge yourself and to know, um, hey, I can do Shakespeare. So I, it's great, yeah. It really helps in school when you have Shakespeare. You'll actually understand the language because we go through it so much and we have professionals come in and help us work through different scenes and explain to us what it means, what the different beats mean and everything. It's fantastic. Once you get over the language difference, he was a brilliant playwright. There are many messages within his plays that people don't get because they don't understand what he's trying to say. And I feel as though it's the job of the actor to portray that to the audience. People in the program, someone like Jack and the other administrators here at Carousel, don't treat us like kids. And it's refreshing because the level of profession in this program makes me feel as though being young has nothing to do with the role I'm playing. Often the people that get the, the roles of teenagers are adults that look young because they've had more experience. So. It is challenging, but that's why I'm so thankful for um, a program such as this where it is directed at teens, where um, we can still have our place in the theater and um, to develop our skills so that we can pursue it even after, um, after high school for post-secondary, et cetera. Can I, can I say something? Yeah, that? absolutely. Uh, we try, uh, our goal over the last few years with this program really has been to help develop young artists. So, Rather than just moving people around the stage, we are trying to give them a, a base of this is what it's like to be an actor. This is what it's like to do a show. You are here in your process. Hopefully you'll be back next year and we'll get you up a couple more steps and to keep developing them as artists and to treat them with respect and treat them as if they, ha they are artists in their own right to start with. Mm -hmm. And they are. And they are. Absolutely. They're coming in with brilliant ideas. Uh, quite a few of them are better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> I have to let mine go and and listen to them, which mm -hmm. is a which as a as an instructor and as a director is truly a fantastic place to be, mm -hmm. because we've got a room of very very creative people doing very creative work. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.